Welcome to day 18. We are three days away from this challenge of mine to be done with and uh, I'm quite happy that I'm getting there quite soon and uh, I have a couple of videos still installed for the next couple of days but today though, today's going to be an easy day. All the things we've learned in the past about ProRes RAW, we're going to now try to fix in Premiere Pro Beta. If you have not used Premiere Pro Beta, please request it from Adobe, they'll give you access to it. Although I think now I heard that it's made public through your account, it is there if you want to download it. ProRes RAW in Premiere Beta, it's available and it works. There's still no conversion for RAW to log. There's no support from Nikon as well as far as like maybe a LUT or something like that that can be used with it once you convert it or just to apply directly to it. Although just natively like it is right now, works really good. The only issue I've ever had with it was the noise and that's when we capture high ISO. If we can fix that issue, then maybe we can push the Nikon Z6 and the Ninja 5 as high as we would want to go. So right now we're at ISO 100 f 2.8 with a 55 millimeter lens. With that in mind, we're going to push it. We're going to push it as far as we can and see what's the highest we can go. So I'm going to take a couple of sample shots. We're going to fix it in Premiere. I don't know if you guys can see back there. I created my own uh, barn doors for my light. Hopefully it works. Don't know, but let's see how that turns out. That's why my fingers are also black. I just painted that thing. I already did the capture. I'm also capturing here within the, my computer. And I have all the ISO stops all the way from 100 to ISO 52,000 here. And you will see the noise levels between all of that. But I'm very excited about one thing. Natively within Premiere, the noise reduction levels and aspects, they, they're not that great. If you want to uh, reduce noise within Premiere itself without buying any plugins or whatnot, it's just not the best thing there is. I've been trying to get this thing for a long time already, this plugin. Uh, I thought it was pretty decent, but I never really tried it out, nor did I ever install it. So I just did it right now so to see what to call like if it would work any better with uh, Premiere or Premiere Beta. And it does work in Premiere Beta. So I downloaded the, the free trial. I just gotta say, wow. I thought it would work, you know, like just a little better and whatnot. I'm blown away. And for me to be blown away takes a lot. Anything you shoot above ISO 6400 for ProRes RAW, the noise levels are just like insane. The video quality of a ProRes RAW above 6400 is extremely noisy. So for you to fix that, it requires a lot of pro processing and Obviously, it does take a lot of processing because rendering just like those two clips that there are less than a minute took almost like three minutes to do so. It's going to take a little bit to render it out, but the outcome of what it could do is just insane. So let me just tell you this and I'll show you what's going on here. If you thought your limit was just ISO 500, maybe ISO 1600 for ProRes RAW and then that was it for you. Let me just tell you this up front that you're wrong. You can go all the way up to 52,000 no problem let me just show you this okay actually now nah, i won't spoil it i want you to stick around dude because this is awesome so these are the results here in prores raw iso 100 f 2.8 bigger so you guys can enjoy it iso 400 f4 iso 400 it looks pretty freaking good you know i i did apply some noise reduction in fact, let me remove all the noise reductions on all of them. ISO 500 F8. So as you can see, at 500 we start seeing noise, but it's not that bad. ISO 640 F8. At 640 you start seeing a little better, but the quality of image is very nice still. You can use this without a problem. ISO 800 F11. To counter the amount of light that I had, I was going up the apertures. So, or down the apertures. ISO 1000 F11. Even at 1000, it looks very clean. ISO 1600 F11. 1600 clean still. And this is without any noise reduction, no noise reduction whatsoever. ISO 3200 F16. ISO 6400 F22. So 6400, the noise is, you can start seeing it and that's when it comes, start getting more prominent. ISO 12800 F32. ISO 25600 F32. You guys can see the noise levels are getting really high. ISO 51200 F32 shutter speed 
100. I had to up the shutter speed because there was just still too much light coming through. But as you can tell, look at the amount of noise there is, right? With this new software that I just got, which is called uh, Magic Bullet, and it's just the, the trial version, so it's really cool. Um, check it out. Once I introduce a denoiser, it's called Denoiser 3. Look what it does. So it, there's a lot of noise, right? With I denoiser 3, with the just regular denoiser that there is within Premiere. Within Premiere, this is as good as it gets. ISO 51200 F32 shutter speed 100. And this is at the highest ISO of uh, 52000. So let me remove that. I'm going to remove that one right there, the denoiser. Uh, I mean the medium. Median. It's called the median denoiser. And in toggle on the uh, Magic Bullet Denoiser 3. Check that out. Look how much it reduced that thing from before. So this is with noise on ISO 30, uh, 25,000. And this is 52,000. ISO 51,200 F32 shutter speed 100. Wow. The amount of noise reduction that this thing can uh, create or produce is just insane. And not just that, but it reduces noise while maintaining the details of, all of, of the face. There's a lot of details here where you could probably think that this was shot maybe ISO 800 or whatnot. There's still some noise, but the amount that it was able to reduce, and I still have to play with it because this is, I just had it for about like 10, 20 minutes and that's it. And this is what it, it comes with. I already... I reduced the uh, the smooth colors. I went all the way to 71%, and then the uh, reduced the noise to 32%, and preserved details. I left that like like it's like it came with. I like it a lot. I might just purchase it. And if you're a student, I think you can get the whole suite for free. Premiere Raw has no issues, no, no more for me anymore. Cause I mean, like based on this, I can push the ISO all the way to 51,000 and uh, get the proper details and images that I want. This are, these are the prices. So if you want to do that stuff, it's like that. But if you get it, if you want to go for teachers or students, it's completely free. If you got to wait, go for it. I hope you enjoyed this video because noise was an issue for us from the get-go. And well, to me, it wasn't that bad, really. I could push all the way up to like uh, 500 and I felt quite comfortable. I think we can go even higher than that and without a problem. From what I'm seeing right now, that I, we can go all the way up to maybe 3200 and you're able to control it without a problem. But if you want to get rid of it 100%, I, I would highly recommend this Denoiser 3 from Magic Bullet. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow, 5 p.m. See ya.